I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we have an example for hypergeometric distributions. The question is construct a probability distribution for the number of hearts dealt from a well shuffled cards if three cards are dealt. Now if you deal three cards then these cards are not being replaced after being dealt. So therefore there is a repetition of an experiment that is you are dealing cards one after the other and in this experiment these are not independent experiments. So these are dependent experiments. So these are the characteristics of hyper geometric distribution. So we are having dependent trials. Right. So since there are dependent trials <coughs> we the probability actually doesn't remain constant, right? It changes. Now, to make it a random variable type of an experiment, what do we do is we see what is required in our answer. So it says, construct a probability distribution for the number of hearts dealt from well shuffled cards if three cards are dealt. So it's a dependent trial where the number of trials is n, right? So it is number of trials is n, where n is equal to 3. Now since we are interested in distribution of number of hearts dealt, so the random variable x is equal to number of hearts, right? So in a standard deck of cards, we have 52 cards out of which 13 are hearts. Okay, so that is how it is. Now if you are dealing uh, 32 cards, in that case, what are the total number of combinations? So, so number of sample space in this case will be we are dealing 3 out of 52 so be 52 C3 right that is the denominator part of our probability now this X can have how many values of which all values since we are dealing three cards there could be no hard cards there could be one hard card there could be two or three so these are the possible values for the random variable which we have defined now based on this we can now make our probability distribution correct so <clears throat> let's make the table so the values of random variable x as we saw could be 0 1 2 or 3 right so the values of x could be 0 1 2 or 3 the probability for x equals to 0 we can find now so the probability will be if we get 0 number of uh, hard cards that means uh, we are getting the others right so so let me write down here in our sample space um, n a is how much we have 13 hard cards right so it is let me write here we have 13 hard cards and if we have 13 how many are other cards right 13 into 3 39 or 52 minus 13 right so that is 39 so we have 13 hard cards and 39 others so when we say success and failure so success is to get those 13 cards and failure is one of those 39 which are not hard, correct? That's very clear. Now when I say we get 0 in this case, that means uh, out of 13 cards, we did not get any hard card. That is 0 hard cards. But we got all of them, all the 3 dealt were other cards, 39, C3. So product of these two divided by the probability or the combinations for the three cards gel 52 possible combination, right? 52C3. So that is what this is. 
when we are looking for one out of those three to be hearts that means 13 c 1 and two of them will be not hard divided by 52 c 3 correct for two cards 13 c 2 from 39 we get one card divided by total which is 52 c 3 and for three hard cards 13 c 3 times from 39 we don't get anything divided by 52 c3 correct <clears throat> let's calculate these values first 52 c3 52 uh, c3 is equals to 22 100 so let me write down here which is 22 100 okay now we'll calculate the numerator so i'll write 22 100 for each it becomes simpler, uh, you know, to do it later. So it is, we'll divide by 22, 100 each. Is that okay? Now the numerator for the first one is, let's write general formula so that we can use these values over and over again. So we'll write 13C0 within brackets times 39C, and this first one is 3, right? and we'll divide this by well calculate this very first equals to 9131 so it is 9139 in the numerator to get the next one we'll change this to 1 and uh, 39c2 and that gives us 9633 divided by 22100 for the third one We'll make this 2 and this will be 1 this time. Okay, and this is 3042, 3042 divided by 22100. And the last one here is 13C3, this is 0. Okay, so that gives us 286, 286 over 22100 right so that is the probability you get for this you could convert them to decimals let's convert them to decimals right so we'll convert them into decimals now okay so when you convert we'll divide let me start from the bottom divide by 22100 it gives you 11 over 650 which in decimals is 0 0.0129 then we have 3042 divided by 22100 which in decimals is 0 0.1376 well we can round them to three decimal places then we have 9633 divided by 22100 which in decimals is 0 0.4 Three five eight, and then we have ninety one thirty nine divided by twenty two one hundred, which in decimals is uh, zero point four one three five, right? So that is the probability distribution. So the probability of getting one no hard is forty one percent. Probability of getting one hard card when three are dealt is. 43% slightly higher for 2 it is 13 or 14% and for for 3 it is just 1% right so that is the probability so we can actually that is the probability distribution we can also show it on on a, on a diagram kind of like this okay so we'll show it on the diagram now so let us say this is uh, this is your point 0.1, point 0.2, so this one value is uh, that much. So this is, let's say this is point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4, point 0.5, point let us say, right? So these, that one, this is 0 0.5, correct. So, so what we have here is at uh, 
zero so when it is zero so we'll use the we'll just draw here S slightly less i mean let me use 0.4 is lower so okay so let me do this this is 0.4 it is 0.4 one slightly higher so we'll use kind of here 0.4 this is for four zero and when one hard part slightly more than this so we'll just keep it like this this is for value when there's one heart and for two it is 0.13 so this is point i mean 13 so um, 0.13 so 0.1 and 3 so between here so it'll be kind of here and this is 0.1 so very small value kind of here is it okay so that becomes the for different values of x this is the probability distribution diagram okay so that becomes the probability distribution diagram for us right so this is 0 and that is 0 0.1 0 0.2 like that i hope that helps you to understand how to find the probability distribution and display it on a diagram as shown here i am anil kumar you can always share and subscribe to my videos to learn thank you and all the best